Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today we are up close and personal because I'm doing, I don't want to say tutorial because I'm definitely no makeup artist and I honestly have no clue what I'm doing half the time, but it's kind of just like a get ready with me sort of thing, like I'm basically just going to be doing my makeup and kind of chatting to you guys at the same time. And this look all revolves around this beautiful NARS lip pencil in the shade Dragon Girl, which I will talk more about when we get to that stage of the video. So I think I'm just going to get straight into it because we all know that I like to ramble. <laughs> okay, so for foundation, I'm going to use my Rimmel Stay Matte. And I think I'm going to use it with the Zoeva 102 Silk Finish Brush. And I have a mirror down here, so if I ever like kind of look in this direction, it's because I'm looking in the mirror. So um, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. But basically, I take a little amount of this on the back of my hand, and I literally start really small. Like, even that's probably too much. Because this foundation is super pigmented, and it kind of is easy to go cakey with it if you're not careful. And if you have dry skin, definitely stay away from this one. Um, even if you have like a little bit of dry skin, it will just cling to it. So I basically just buff it into my skin. Starting off with a small layer, like I said, and then building up if you need it. Because this foundation is good, I think, um, but it's easy to go wrong. <laughs> because I'm going with a more bold lip today, I think it's nice to have a really fresh, natural, but as like flawless as possible base. Okay, so I'll cover up some blemishes and such first. And for that I'm going to use the, what is this, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Um, and this is the shade 10. And for under my eyes, the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. This has been like my new favourite thing for under my eyes. Um, I use it in the shade Ivory. And I just think it's so good. Like, it's just so good. Um, and I actually use a brush to blend it in, which I never used to do. Um, and this is the Zoeva 142, what is it, concealer buffer. Um, and I just think it, like, works really well. To I just poke myself in the eye. Um, to buffing concealer. See? Okay, before I do anything else, I'm going to prime my eyes. And actually, <laughs> just dropped it. I have a little sample of the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. So I'm going to use a bit of this because um, I'm just kind of testing it out and seeing if I like it or not before going and buying the full size. And I'm not quite sure if it actually helps like keep it set a lot more than my e.l.f. one does. So now I'm going to powder, and of course I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is like my favourite thing. Um, as you can see, I've used quite a lot of it. And Real Techniques Powder Brush, and I just kind of like swirl it around like that. There's not really ever any like excess. And you probably don't necessarily totally need to powder, um, because this foundation is matte. Um, but my skin is normally pretty oily, so I like to just in case. I think I'll do my eyebrows next um, and I'm kind of cheating today and literally just putting like a gel through them I'm not gonna actually fully fill them in and that's just because I'm literally just going up to the shops like it's not necessary um, so this is a Maybelline brow drama and I quite like it I need to get my smaller mirror because otherwise this could go horribly wrong um, it's probably not as good as the Gimme Brow by Benefit, which I've never used, but knowing how that works, this isn't the same thing. This is just like a tinted brow gel kind of thing. Okay, so I'm not going to actually do like a blush bronzer kind of thing today, just because the NARS lip pencil is quite bright and also I kind of just don't really want to. <laughs> Simple as that. Um, so I'm going to use the Sports Girl Get Cheeky, um, and this is kind of like a highlight shimmer thing that has like 
all these different shades and I just kind of use it like in this area or kind of like a bronzer-ish um, even though it's like more of a highlight because it's not super pigmented um, so you're not going to really like go overboard um, and I think it just like adds a bit of extra like it adds that something that you need without like being too much so I kind of just swirl tap apply and this I use the um what is this <laughs> the blush brush from Real Techniques um, for it and I think it works really well because I find it kind of just like perks up the complexion but like you're not doing anything too much. Now onto the eyes and I'm going to keep it super super simple and natural and basic today because we've already basically explained everything so far. Um, so this is the Steel in the Light palette which I just always use and I really need to buy another palette. I'm thinking of buying the Urban Decay Naked palette like the first one um, but I'm not quite sure so if any of you guys own that palette tell me if I should buy it. <laughs> um, but I'm just taking a flat shader brush and this shade right here which is called Bare um, and I'm going to put that all over the lid just to kind of cancel out um, like veining and all that kind of thing. And this is literally going to be the most boring eye makeup look you've ever seen. And then with this brush which is the 231 Luxe Petite Crease from Zoeva um, I'm going to take the shade Bliss which is this one right here and it's kind of like a brownie, taupey, more cool toned, I would say, maybe, um, matte shade. And kind of just put that, like, in the crease outer corner. Okay, this is hard to do from far away. Um, just to kind of add a bit of something extra rather than just having just a plain lid. And then... I'm going to take, oh my nose is itchy, um, the EcoTools airbrush concealer brush and just like on the top kind of just blend it like this just to make sure there's no harsh lines or anything. Next I'm going to curl my lashes and ever since I started, well this is hard from far away, ever since I started curling my lashes it seriously makes such a difference, like look. I hope you guys can tell. Um, this is the Revlon Lash Potion Mascara. Okay, so now we're up to the exciting part, which is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Dragon Girl. <sighs> can we just take a moment? Like, it's so beautiful. Now, I'm kind of, not cheating, but I'm going to use this, like, not to full opaqueness today, just because... It'll be way too much if I totally build it up, so I just want to kind of do it. Kind of just um, staining it on my lips kind of thing. So that is what I'm going to do. And I already did moisturize my lips like with a lip balm because this is matte, so you want to have like as best conditioned lips as you possibly can when using it otherwise. Well, I've actually never used this, but I think that it probably will stick to dry patches if you're not careful. I have to say that I think the fact that I had the lip balm on lip balm on underneath has kind of interfered with it like it's definitely made it not super matte but I am getting that kind of stain look that I wanted so I think I might leave that there so I kind of I didn't do this uh, like a review of this but I did put this on my blog so if you want to see it in like full opaqueness then um go and have a look at it on there because this is definitely not like fully opaque um, but it just I think I just wanted like a stain of colour um, something that was more like everyday appropriate okay so that is the makeup look done I hope you guys like it um, I do actually I think it's kind of like really natural and nice and pretty and So if you guys would be interested in that, then let me know because 
I'm really kind of excited like when I think about it and I've been watching Vlogmas videos for a few years now so I kind of want to I, I want to take part in it too so I will put them up on this channel obviously once a week um, either on a Sunday or a Monday because if I do it Monday then it's a proper like week but I don't know is Monday a weird day to upload let me go <laughs> let me ugh, I can't talk let me know what you guys would want whether you want it on the Sunday night or the Monday night yeah let me know which is better for you um, and I think that's all I had to say all of my links will be down below, um, as well as all of the products that I used and things like that. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I, oh, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you want to see like more looks that are kind of like this or something. Um, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.